We'll literally show you the career that you've been wanting to see. Time to experience the nooks and crannies of Korea as if with your own two feet on K Patch with Q1. It is a Monday, and that means Kiwon comes into our radio station Yay. with her videos. Hello. Some of you might say that makes no sense at all. Well, video radio is a big <laughs> deal here, and Kiwon's a YouTuber. OK Vlogs is how you can find her. Yes. Are you doing well? You're in your T-shirt. I'm in my T-shirt because now it's getting warmer because yes. I know it gets a little bit stuffy in here as time goes on. Good so thinking. I try to like wear my T-shirt just to cool down a little bit. I started seeing, mm -hmm. and I think it might might still be a bit early because it's still April, but people in shorts and t-shirts because the yeah. weather was quite mild over the weekend. It was really, it, yesterday was extremely hot. I actually went um, to Inwansang. Oh, the mountain. Yes, the mountain. To do a little hiking. Just to do a little hiking. Uh -huh. And it was super hot. With the sun kind of blazing down on you, yes. right? I think the official temperatures on my car thermometer, at least, mm -hmm. were about 23 degrees. But if you're in the sun, it no. felt much hotter, it right? It definitely felt like it was 30. I felt like <laughs> I actually got a slight sunburn on my shoulders. Oh, wow. Yeah, well, I was also then, I really liked the sun. So I was just like soaking it in and just sitting there and just didn't Having mind the sun. Having a little tan. Exactly. It's been beautiful weather know, today as been. well, right? Yes. I've heard that maybe tonight and into tomorrow morning there might be a bit of rain so boo-hoo oh. to that but what that's so weird all of a sudden yeah i, I don't think it's gonna be a lot and okay. yeah i guess by la standards it's a lot but yeah. by british standards it's like how come it hasn't rained in three <laughs> days like we get it all the time <laughs> lots of greetings to our fair lady kiwan from steve and tropic girl k saying your hair grows really fast your bangs oh. are growing out already yes it actually i was actually surprised too i was like looking <laughs> at my hair i was like oh my gosh i have to get another haircut <laughs> again already again. It's only been a couple of weeks, hasn't it? I know, it? maybe two weeks, three weeks? Yeah. yeah. Uh, we've got some listeners on VLive as Ooh, well. Uh, Miss Toast says, I like to listen to this channel while studying. And uh, one of our American listeners, because uh, I can't say yes, because uh -huh. I've never been. But Miss Pizza and Fast Food says, have you ever been to Boston? Yes, I have. Oh, what's yes. it like in Boston? Isn't that like the tea party and a lot of yeah, history there? It, so for me, I had a really good time. Um, but the weather reminded me a little bit of england oh really it was is a it little a bit, bit miserable gloomy. <laughs> not miserable <laughs> just a little bit like a little bit gloomy it looked like it was like a little overcast besides uh -huh. that i mean maybe it was the day i arrived uh -huh. it was a little bit gloomy but other than that i had a, a great time in boston lovely really stuff. short trip M too maybe as a brit i might appreciate it <laughs> uh, today's hashtag is neighbor or eud mm, okay are you friendly with your neighbors where you live now kiwan yeah, I'm very friendly. Um, oh, wait, right now. Or previously as oh, well. Okay. You can talk about both. Okay, I was going to be like, previously back in America. Uh -huh. I have. But I feel like in America and Korea, it's like so different. In Korea, they're a little bit more reserved. Some of them. These days in apartments, yes. it's very rare to be friendly. It I think is. The only reason we are friendly with a few mm -hmm. is because of our kids and they go to the local school. So oh, we know, that, know each other. But like... before they went to school, we didn't talk to anybody yeah. in our apartment. Nobody. Yeah, and I thought that I thought that was very weird because I was like, in America, <laughs> you usually like go knocking on their door and then sometimes I'd like bring them baked goods. Oh, nice. And um, they'd be really appreciative and like we'd have a, like a quick tea, a quick tea chat okay. um, with the cookies that I baked. Um, but here's a little different everyone's like a little bit closed off yeah i think it used to be really friendly but mm -hmm. living in apartments it's a bit tough to like see each other you don't see it each is. other in your driveway when you're yeah. pulling in and I stuff like that i think that's what it is yeah. yeah and it is a bit sad isn't it mm -hmm. i'd like to live in a house again so you mm -hmm. can have that vibe yeah. right of just popping over for some sugar or something <laughs> like that um today's theme is perfect then for the perfect weather i think where mm -hmm. are you taking us kiwan so last week I went to Everland. Well, hey, the Yay. theme park down in Yongin. Yes. I guess because it's a brand, we'll mm -hmm. call it Eland from now on. Right. But you e heard the official name there. Yes. It's my favorite theme park, I must say. Yeah. I, this was actually maybe my second time. I went when I was younger. Okay. So I don't remember much of it. So when I went, it was pretty much like a totally new experience for me when oh, I got there. Oh, so when you were much younger. Yeah, much younger. Um, yeah. So it was like, it was definitely 
really big. Um, it's <laughs> considered one of the largest theme parks in Korea. Uh-huh. So, yeah. I went when I was maybe 10 as uh-huh. well, and I'm a bit older than you. So it was when uh-huh. it used to be called uh-huh. Farmland. Farmland? Yeah, it didn't have a very good name. Farmland. Yeah, it wasn't very appealing because I think it was in some rural... Um, right, which makes... Yeah. Yeah, okay. an area. And so all the kind of... Um, what's it called? The, the, the sign and right. stuff was uh-huh. just a bit weird and I was like this is a theme park called Farmland what's going on here so they uh-huh. way chose it a better name I think they uh... rebranded it to Everland a little bit later yeah okay. which makes more sense I think right. this is a good good way to call it right right um, yeah and uh, that must have been I guess in the 2000s early 2000s late 90s it rebranded itself yeah. I'm looking on the internet And they probably expanded from there, correct? Uh Uh-huh. Yeah, Yeah. it was much bigger now. Although even back then, it had the zoo area. Oh, okay. Did you get to experience the zoo area this Uh, time around? No, I didn't. I wasn't able to. And I just went to a couple of the places and looked around there. Um, Really big. What are we going to see in our first video then? What are you going to highlight? In our first video, actually, so during... Uh, April, March and April is when they have the tulip season. Oh. So they have tulips brought in from the Netherlands, actually. Oh, really? Yes. But they're still alive, They're right? still alive. So what I think what they do is it's gifted from the Netherlands. Uh-huh. Some of them are, and then they preserve them nicely. Wow. And many of them are considered organic, so <gasps> they don't use any pesticides. That's unbelievable. Mm-hmm. All right, let's check out your first video in Korea's maybe biggest and bestest amusement park. Yes. So here's the cues to get in. You went on a yes. weekend, Kiwan. You're on quite a weekend. brave. Uh huh. Okay. And actually, you have to download an app to get in first. So you download the app, you get the ticket, and it's a QR code. And you go in and you simply see this beautiful tree. You see people bustling about. And the main thing wow. here is it are... Flower Like City there? Yes. <laughs> it's Flower City there. Um, but they have all these headbands <gasps> that you can wear. Look at those tulips. And the tulips are beautiful. It doesn't look like a theme park. It basically looks like a park with lots of flowers it here. It is. And I've never seen such beautiful tulips Look anywhere. at you. You're growing out the ground. <laughs> yes. I'm pretty much like a tulip there. Or more like a sunflower. Um, but there are many different photos, so, uh, photo zones it's where you random, can take... That's not a real bus stop is it it's not a real bus stop no (laughs) Um, but there's different places where you can take pictures that was the old name Chayon Norman that's why it was translated to farmland I I was going retro there Uh uh-huh oh and then there's a tool me being inside the tulips (laughs) (laughs) and then they have two different times. There's one at one thir- uh, 3.30 and one at 5. Uh-huh. Um, but they have this performance, or otherwise known as a parade, where these actors... Who um, are these actors, random people? What are they doing? <laughs> they dance for you, they sing for you, they entertain you. They always have token foreign actors doing yes, this for they some do. reason. Yes, they do. I guess to add to the mystique of yeah. things, right? And this song is actually super catchy. Like, they repeat this song constantly throughout the uh, theme park. Oh, so. great. Played on the speakers and uh-huh. whatnot. Ja ja! Yay! You bought a, maybe the prettiest tulip I've ever <laughs> seen into the studio, Kiwan. Yes, and I wanted you to wear it because, you know, I think it looks very pretty on you. Thank you. Yeah, of you course. showed me these before we went on air. Yes. And I was assuming you were going to give me the giraffe one, but you <laughs> kindly gave me the flower no, one. No, actually, I was like, oh no, I have to like take it out before like <laughs> a show. So I was like, okay, I'll give you whatever for now. I love it. Stunning, very beautiful, yes. says Kay. I am assuming not linked to what we're wearing on our heads here (laughs) but the video that's just gone out um yes that park that's like because this theme park is kind of on a big hill slash small mountain oh yes it is yes and so that's down the bottom area where Mm -hmm. they have all the plants they've got loads of rides but it's Mm -hmm. so spaced out you don't even see them when you're in that kind of area there's maybe that the tea express roller coaster that Uh you see around there yeah from the back but Uh yeah since you say it's like on a hill it is really spread out so you do have enough space to like take pictures um there are people who are friendly who are like taking pictures for you if you don't have anybody to you know anyone there to like take pictures for you um but yeah it was definitely a wonderful time so many colors um you can honestly spend just like your whole entire day just in the tulip garden yeah that's the problem but the also great (laughs) thing about there is it's so 
so big that mm -hmm. one day is not enough. And I know that yes, the I theme agree. parks in America are even bigger. So mm -hmm. it's an even bigger problem. So you, you could do it if you really just focused on going to the rides quick, 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 right. quick, quick. Yeah. And I highly recommend just like planning it out. Mm -hmm. Just like before you get there, you like look at the map. You're gonna, okay, I'm going to try to aim for this, this area, this area, this area. Yeah. And then from there, you just... Make your way around because in that way you're saving time and you're also hitting the spots. Yeah, you don't want to be going back and forth between the same destinations yeah. or locations in the park because, like we said, it's on a big hill. There is, in fact, a ski lift that will take you up and down the hill, oh, right? Yes, but I think that w uh, wastes a lot of time. You queue for it, don't yeah, you? you? Yeah, you have to wait for a long time and... I think you just, it's faster. Honestly, I think it's faster just to like maybe walk. In. Yeah, and it's good exercise as well. Yeah, you true. are completely exhausted by the end of the day. Yes, uh, the listeners are loving the fact that you've bought in these random headbands. Oh. We might have to make this a weekly thing. <laughs> but the reason is, like he once said, like mm -hmm. loads of people wearing these in the theme park. And it's not just for the Tulip Festival. Mm -hmm. The same at L World in Chamshield. Yeah. Koreans really get into this, like wearing they funny do. things at theme parks. They'll go and buy the merch yeah. and put it on, right? Yeah. They do they have like actually when i was there there was a group of friends and also couples too that they would wear um school uniforms oh like yeah. the korean kyobok's ah. or korean school uniforms and they would just go just around just dressing up like yeah that. and just like imagining as if they were like their younger self and like oh you could around. tell they were older because i think there are <laughs> lots of students who go who are just in their real school uniforms no, at you the can, same time you can tell that they're older because <laughs> just by the way they walk the and wrinkles. just yeah you're like you're a little too mature for this outfit <laughs> okay, we'll be back with another video on a place that I love, my mm -hmm. kids love, and I really recommend you go. Yes. Uh, the magic of a theme park after some end flying flower fantasy. Everybody loving the headbands. Maybe I this know. will just have to be our K-Patch uniform every week. I mean, I c we could leave it here and then just always put it on. Maybe swap from time to time. Yes. It's rather heavy, this flower. It is. It's very heavy. And actually, when the wind was blowing, I felt like I was being blown away yeah. with it. And in the summertime, I feel it could be quite warm as well. It could like oh, yeah. trap in the heat. Yeah. I was wearing it the wrong way around, so now I've corrected it. Yes, I look I more like a sunflower. Flip it around. <laughs> there we yeah. go. Fa thank you so much. Uh, Cameron saying it's her birthday today and says, ah, Kiwan on me, Annyeonghaseyo. Birthday. Happy birthday indeed. What it was like to be 19. I'm envious, Cameron. 19. 19. Oh my goodness. Can you remember what you were doing back at 19? When I was 19, uh, I was I was in university. Uh huh. Having yeah. some partying times in university or studying very hard? No. Wink, wink. <laughs> <laughs> Fantastic. Um, also got some messages from our YouTube crowd. Yes. Ruby saying, I love Eland. I've mm. been there four times. Four times. And you wow. live in Southeast Asia, so that's pretty impressive. Wow. More than Kiwon. <laughs> no, definitely more than me. You must have really enjoyed your time there to go there four times. It is brilliant. I it will is. say that as well. And then I got another one from Raul. Tulips are from Netherlands originally. The oh. sunflower Kiwan. Kiwan so cute, but Petrina so lovely. Lol. That's my <laughs> alter ego. Petrina, Peterina, whatever oh. you want to call it. Oh um, my goodness, I just got that. Yes. Uh, Lichubul <laughs> says, I love the new sunflower hairstyle. So shiny yes. that I can't see you, Peter. Yes, um, it is definitely upgrading my appearance. <laughs> so I might think of buying one as well. Thank you for this. Of course. And then I got another one from Tropic Girl. Stunning. Very beautiful, Kiwan. Kiwan, you rock. Thank you for entertaining us like this. Your next challenge is to get Pete into a dinosaur costume. Well, if you go to somewhere in Korea that maybe has dinosaur bones, then it would bones. make sense, like a fossil site or uh, something. Ah, makes sense. There yeah. is a place, actually, that you should go. Just mm -hmm. brainstorming on air here. It's Amsa, mm -hmm. uh, just past Chamshil. And okay. it's like a prehistoric activity slash theme park on a oh. very small scale. Okay. I'll bring in my dinosaur suit for that. Sounds oh, good. Oh, so it's a theme park <laughs> around dinosaurs. Yeah, not so many rides. I think okay. more like exhibitions and a okay. few hands-on activities. But cool. that could be an excuse right yeah that could be on our list uh brie says it looks like what the idols wear on some variety shows mm. i have seen them forced yes. to wear this for some strange reason <laughs> as do well. you feel forced to wear it a little bit <laughs> yes I, I wasn't planning this morning when i woke up to wear a tulip on my head yes i it was a surprise because it's elan so it's like you have to wear the headband what a wonderful surprise <laughs> uh, sophie saying it's so delightful there and ah oh, it's so beautiful because i love flowers mm -hmm. and yet even when 
when it's not tulip season, the gardens down there are always really well maintained. So it looks beautiful all year round. It does. Yeah. And Steve says it looks a bit like D-Land with a touch mm. of botanical gardens in it. Yeah. There's actually like a botanical garden, but they also have Zootopia, which is mm-hmm. Zootopia, not Zootopia, but it's a zoo related area uh-huh. and um, where there's a lot of animals. Yeah. I think they did brand it. Yeah. You're right. Zootopia, right? Oh. Like the film itself. Yes. So I was like, I was confused. I was like, maybe I'd said it wrong. <laughs> no, I because Zootopia, that animated film was hugely popular here. It, it was. And then I think they've got a space between the zoo and Topia Topia. for copyright reasons. Yes, that is correct. But my kids love that area. Again, you could just spend all day there mm-hmm. and look at the animals. Mm-hmm. They used to have, but I think because of COVID, they've closed it for the time being, like private safaris. You could go in your own little Jeep and it would oh. take you around to see the animals. You'd feed it from the window and stuff. Yes, yes. Like lions, tigers and bears. Unbelievable. Yeah, yeah really And they good also stuff. have a panda area too. They had the first panda born in Korea not so long ago. We oh, talked about really? it on the show maybe six months ago or so. Oh, and it's doing quite well. The last wow. I heard, I hope nothing's gone wrong with it. And I'm completely <laughs> incorrect. Fingers crossed. Yes, it was growing very well. Oh, okay. So in your second video, mm-hmm. are we going to keep looking at the tulips? Are we going to go somewhere else? No, we're going to go explore the different area in Everland. And I guess first we're going to go check out a, different, a lot of different activities that I have planned in this video. Okie dokie. So they have this ginormous parade that only happens once throughout the day. These are fun. And they also, I think in the summertime as well, have night parades with fireworks Ah. just as it's closing if you stay till late. Right. But kids love this. Adults love it maybe even more, I think. I think I enjoyed it a little too much. I was like waving to them even though they weren't looking at me and like making hearts to them too. Sometimes they they give you a high five if you're lucky. Oh yeah, but I think because of COVID, I don't think they were doing that. Fires. Yeah. But yeah, now we're headed towards the roller coaster ride. One of the biggest roller coasters called T Express. Um, but you have to actually use the app to get yourself in the line. Oh, really? So everything is electronic. So I get in um, and I scan in. How long was the queue, I wonder? So you're not necessarily in the queue, you're just like in the electronic, I get oh, guess, really? wait list. Oh, and then you go at your certain time. Yes, oh, they tell clever. you to come in. At you don't a waste time. time then. It's perfect, yeah. So you can explore different areas, and once it's your time to go, you can quickly go in. This is such a steep fall. It doesn't go upside down, this one, does it? it? Uh, no, it doesn't go upside down. It is steep. From the outside, you're like, oh, that's easy, right? Yeah. But when you're actually <laughs> on it, you're like, oh my goodness. And up until that point, I was like, oh, it's, it's fine. It's, you know, it's Are you good no with big deal. Um, I would say I'm pretty good at uh-huh. it. Yeah. So this is how you like would go first in. And then right, it kind of, I guess, bends a little bit. And you're pretty much on like a 45 degree. Yeah, you're leaning back hugely, angle. right? Mm-hmm. And this is the drop, this which is, the is first insane. Drop. And it doesn't look insane from afar, but when you go down... You're basically facing the floor, You right? are, and it's almost like a 90-degree <laughs> angle. Yeah. But I, yes. I've been on that too many times because I used to... Uh, look after this child Uh who would sometimes go there as part of our lessons Uh just to have fun English talk in the theme park. That's so fun. And then we go on weekdays, there's nobody there and we just go on it again and again and again. I didn't really like it. Oh yeah. (laughs) It's a bit too scary and it's old school, right? It's built Uh with wood and it's made to look a bit rickety. Right. So I don't feel very safe doing this. Yeah, I actually kind of hurt my neck a little bit just because I didn't expect the fall (laughs) to be so (laughs) sharp. I was like, oh my goodness, my neck. Yeah, everyone uh, saying, uh, well, Tropic Girl saying he, she's a scaredy cat with mm. roller coasters. Raul also said, I'm not really liking roller coasters. Maybe give them a little slap. And <laughs> Zana saying, everything is electronic. That's so COVID safe. It yeah, is. Not standing close together mm-hmm. in the queues. Yeah, and I think that's how they maintain um, mm-hmm. traffic control. Yeah. Um, but I, we also have another clip um, oh. from Elan's actual site oh, wow. of how it actually looks like when you're on the the uh, on the roller coaster itself the front seat view let's take mm-hmm. a look at this video courtesy of their own website yes so look at this drop like, here. you can't even see where you're going oh, until, oh! Whoa. and then it goes up and down again yes 
I, I, I do appreciate... Oh, she's not looking very yeah, well, is she? she? <laughs> <laughs> that was me. That was me. But aside from those two drops, the rest mm-hmm. of it is really fun. It's like, really fun. Yeah, you and, go through these narrow tunnels uh-huh. and whatnot. Yeah. And if you open your eyes, it's just like even more extreme because you're like, oh my gosh, I'm going through all of these like You feel like you're going to hit your head. Yeah, because it's actually pretty low. Yeah, but there's no like... Nothing's stopping you from putting your arms up. Don't, I'm right. going to say, yeah. because I think you might catch your hand mm-hmm. and that would be awful. But I think it might be an illusion. Like, you're not that close to right. it because it can't be safe to be that To be, close. like, putting your hands up and then probably hitting against the wall. But Fantastic. Actually, I wanted to get a picture. Uh-huh. I wanted to show you guys, like, a picture of me and my sister on this ride. Yeah. But it happened to be broken that day. You didn't get to go on it? No, so I got on it, uh-huh. but I was saying like the picture where they like take a picture. Oh, where they between. take the snap when you're going down or something yes. and you look ridiculous. Yes. That was broken. That was broken that day. And oh. I was like, what? I was like, this is what I came for. I think you had a very embarrassing facial expression. Oh, yeah. And I that's what you're just would've. saying. You're like, oh, it was broken. I, I couldn't bring it in. No. Uh, Derek says those wooden coasters are like minecart level from mm. Donkey Kong Country in real life. Yeah, I think I. I read as you're queuing because mm-hmm. they used to just queue they had all this spiel about how it was built they bought in french like roller coaster experts to come and help with the design and oh, stuff for this one yeah and that because wow. that's not been there i'd like to say more than about 12 13 years like right. maximum um and yeah so they got european designers to come in and create oh, it and that's wow. why it looks amazing Fantastic. Hartley saying it reminds me of Raw at Six Flags in America. Mm. I need to buy a season pass with my next check. Uh, have you been to that park? Because I heard that's the one for like roller coaster bus. Yes. Six I've, Flags. I've been to Six Flags, um, but that's been a while. I usually typically go to Knott's, Knott's Berry Farm. Oh, in LA. In, oh, in California. Yes, in California. I've heard of that place, but that's not just a farm as well, right? It's a no, theme it's park. A, no, yeah, it's a theme park. Yeah, but it's, it's called Knott's Berry Farm uh, because it kind of gives like a, the theme is of like a farm. Okay, mm-hmm. that's kind of similar to yeah, here. Yeah, it's very similar to this actually. Yeah. Fantastic. Uh, let us uh, be back with your messages as well. Tell us about any theme parks you've been to. Any photos and videos would be really welcome. Uh, Cacao Talk, our username there is Daily K. And I think I'm going to take off this sunflower now. <laughs> We've got Chunga with roller coaster. Uh, uh. We're back for our roller coaster extravaganza mm-hmm. episode. We've been to Eland in Yongin, and yes. lots of you loving it. Uh, Jackie saying, I'd love to go on that roller coaster. Hartley saying, love them. Zana saying, oh, that's the famous wooden roller coaster. Mm-hmm. I think if idols go to a theme park to go on a like scary ride, mm-hmm. that's the one they choose. The, Probably. The optics, it looks yeah. really cool, doesn't it? And it's it? the biggest one in the in the um, uh, theme park. Yeah, I think it might be the biggest in Korea. I think so too, actually. Yeah, because in the uh, L World over in Jumshill, the space is much smaller. Oh, they do have right. an outdoor roller coaster. I think it's called Atlantis, but uh-huh. it's not the same as that. And then they have uh, Shinwa Land, I think it's called in Jeju, like a newly built one. And they're building one in Busan. So maybe there will be a bigger one. But I think as of its time of building, it was Uh, the biggest. Yeah. Yes. You got some messages? Yes, I got one from Tropic Girl. Oh, a parade like Disney. Gorgeous costumes. Oh, yes, yeah. the costumes are amazing. And I think each season they have a different theme to their mm-hmm. parades. Because when I went last summer, and it was COVID, but everyone was wearing their masks, they have a giant water fight, right? Oh. So the parade is down in the square area. Right. And they just have water cannons and they get you absolutely soaked. It's so fun. So you have to prepare yourself. Like, yeah, and because it's soaked. hot though, it's okay. okay. You kind of dry off, oh, but you okay. can bring a change of clothes. But our kids, we just wore those ponchos and stuff and then you're encouraged to take your own water guns as well and they've got filling buckets and then you just shoot anyone some people are a bit cross when you shoot them but if they're in that area it's Mm. kind of fair game oh that's so fun yeah really good stuff um and i went not so long ago Mm -hmm. as well and i didn't know this but just a top tip 
if you are like going with someone older who mm-hmm. maybe can't walk around the whole time, right. there are little like gazebos that you can yeah. rent as well, and then uh-huh. they can like rest there. It's near the tulip garden, oh. and then you and the kids can go off and come back. Right, it's your like private area. Yeah, and there's like a lot of like services there. There's like a baby room where you can like change your baby's diaper. Yeah, um, there's also portable chargers if you like because you need your oh, phone. Oh, nice. Yeah, portable ones they kind of rent out. Yeah, oh, so that's you can clever. you know buy it out and then just use it. as you go along the day just in case you run out of battery yeah and the thing that i think nobody knows there's a hotel at the back end you have to actually exit the park but then it's just like a one minute walk to the hotel oh an everland hotel yeah is i mean it's not actually themed in that way it just oh, looks like okay. a log cabin kind oh, of thing so it's still wow. kind of cool and you can have a barbecue there and come back into the theme park after eating which Wait, is really good that's fun. so cool yeah if you don't want to buy the theme park food which to be honest is quite good it I is would good say. And yeah. reasonably priced too. Yeah, it's not a ripoff, is it's it? It's not. Uh, you got another one yes, there? Yes, I got another one from Siska. There is an animal section too at Everland. Ha ha. My friends took Tea Express and went down, shaked even when he was um, in his corn dog. <laughs> <laughs> After eating it as well. After eating it. It does give you a bit of a rush, doesn't it? It does. Uh, getting on to our listener content, uh, we've got this from Sophie in mm. Kota Kinabalu. Um, a little bit. plant i see i'm guessing related to the fact we showed you some tulips you said this is the pandan tree i've got in my garden i use this for my local cakes we saw oh. a green almond cake earlier so they must put the plant coloring into the cake oh that's, oh, that's kind of cool that's really cool fantastic thank you for that sophie and you're also saying the theme park near you is called tun fuad stevens park mm-hmm. it's a recreational one in bukit padang mm-hmm. kota kinabalu Um, I would love to go and try it out. Ah. We've also got another flower-related one here. Ing saying, I saw these tulips outside a house in Japan. Not sure if they're real or fake. They kind of look... They do look real. Yeah, a bit withered, yeah. right? So yeah. real ones would surely just look perfect all yeah. the time. <laughs> Fantastic, Ing. I hope you weren't like snooping on someone else's property, oh. but lovely to see your photo. Yes, and then I got another one from Tropic Girl. I visited... Kunkenhof in Netherlands in spring 2018. It was absolutely worth every penny. Oh, here's and the photo. And it's exactly as everyone raves about. <gasps> But a lot of walking. Kunkenhof. I know that the Netherlands is famous for tulips. We heard Rao saying they're right. originally from there. Yeah. But is there a certain area in the Netherlands mm. that is like that? I didn't know. And look at all this, these beautiful yes. flowers. And this one is called the shark tooth tulip. And it's a seasonal one. And she really loves this one. Oh. so it kind of looks sharp on the edges that's Mm -hmm. maybe where it gets its name from yeah (gasps) i've never wow i've never seen this kind of tulip before it looks like a kind of monster child of a cactus and a tulip together but But still beautiful (laughs) absolutely colors too lovely stuff tropico i I missed those tulips when i was in the netherlands all those years ago (laughs) uh we got jacoby as well who says here we've got the jeju maze park The go-karting places in Jeju are so fun. Really? I went. They're so noisy, Uh though. But you get the feel that you're going like 100 miles an hour. And I think it's only about 30 miles an hour because it's so loud. And it's like... And this is Hulk. I've got to check it out. Wow. With Jarl there from the Figurine Museum. And also uh, Echo Land. I've Echo been down Land. there. It's just a giant kind of park area with some trains. Oh, is this in Jeju? Yeah, all in Jeju. Oh, wow. There's so much to do there. And this must be the maze area down there as Man, well. Man, I have to go back to Jeju. I don't know what I did. There's so much. There's the, My favorite thing is gravity go-karts. So uh-huh. they just go down a hill. There's no engine. Right. And then AI <gasps> drives it back up the hill the for AI. you. Yeah, you just sit there without your hands on anything. Wow. And then you go down again. It's so much fun. Yeah. Oh my, I, yeah, I have to go back. I'll give you some places to go. <laughs> uh, you got another one from Siska? Yes, yeah, Siska. This one is a theme park in central neighbor city of Jakarta. Well, that roller coaster kind of looks similar. Oh, yeah, because it's like wooden too. Yeah, oh, and with wait, a few no, drops and what. Oh, no, it is yeah. steel, isn't it? It, it looks like steel. the color of wood, but uh-huh. wow, that looks <gasps> a bit dizzying. Wow. They've got rides like this They in e l a We only scratched the surface. There's so many more rides there's there, so right? There's so much more and so vast. Like, there's a lot of things to do there. Absolutely. Oh, that car Aww. ride looks like fun. Uh, I think they've got these swings They in e l a n d as well. Uh, yeah, and a few cute zones. characters. That's the one thing that lets... 
theme parks down in Korea, I feel, is the uh-huh. lack of like a n recognizable character. They're usually yes. just the theme park's character, right? Uh huh. And they have, well, they do have the names for the characters, yeah. but it's like not, you can't really recognize them. Yeah, because you it. don't see them in cartoons or anything yes. like that. That's one downside, I suppose. Yeah. Um, we've also got this one from Cam, who uh-huh. says, "Me and a few friends on the merry-go-round." Aww. That is close to the Tulip Place in Eland, if I remember rightly, and you can go on that is ride. It, oh, yes, it is. If you don't want to go on any others, even though it's not like exciting, I love it. The romance mm-hmm. of that, Aww. and that's on another ride, maybe a roller coaster. There uh-huh. looks like fun, and everyone's posing so nicely. Thank you for the photos, Cam Cam. <laughs> and thank you, Kiwon, for taking us to of that course. theme park. Because I haven't pleasure. been this spring yet, so you've inspired me. I highly recommend <laughs> it. I definitely, I feel like everyone should go to Everland if they have the chance. Price-wise, mm-hmm. is what, about $50,000-ish? About $50,000-ish for adults. And then for kids, about forty. dollars uh-huh. um, I think that's the all-day pass. Yeah, so that's what, $40 to $50, mm-hmm. depending on your age. And if you have certain right. credit cards, you can sometimes get in for cheaper than that mm-hmm. right and you can book it online too and that way then it's uh, easier to like download it on the app and then you can just simply just walk in instead of waiting in, in a queues. separate line oh yeah. that's good stuff isn't it mm-hmm. uh, next week's theme homework for everybody who won next week's theme are we gonna do hair bands uh, maybe <laughs> no <laughs> just kidding uh next week is gonna be children's day actually in korea oh, we've got fifth of may children's day yes. haven't we so i'm gonna be going around showing where you can buy presents for your kids oh that's a lovely theme mm-hmm. if you want you could also look after my kids for children's oh, day do a video for that actually i wouldn't <laughs> mind that <laughs> you won't say that at the end of the day uh we'll see you again next monday Kima. thank All you right, bye is kind with carnival the last day